Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is time for sports. And how many different ways can the Yankees win a game? How many different ways? And that's ball four. So Glaber Torres draws a pinch hit walk, and he's aboard. Aaron Boone has gone to the bench. And this time it's going to be Gary Sanchez. Ball is looped into right field. It's going to drop in for a base hit. Glaber Torres will hold it second. The 3-0 pitch. And that's ball four. A four-pitch walk. Loads the bases. For Aaron Hicks. The payoff pitch. And it's ball four outside. The Yankees take the lead six to five. Now, I, I mean, you know you've got a kind of blessed season. <laughs> <laughs> when you win a game tied 5-5 in the ninth, you get one measly hit and the rest are walks to walk in and get the game. Good morning, Mike. How are you? I'm good. Thank God the Orioles suck. <laughs> Boy, that's amazing. Because I played a three-team parlay yesterday. I had the Twins over the Angels. They won in the football score 16-7. to I had... The Steelers, also known as the Pirates over Colorado, they won 14-6. And thank God for the walks of the Orioles where the Yankees squeak out a 6-5 win because that was my third game. Just, I mean, how many different ways can the Orioles figure out to lose? Well, like we've been saying, it seems like for the last 27 days that they've played the Yankees, they stink. Ugh, ugh. It's just they make the let the Mets look like the twenty seven Yankees. Yeah, and the Marlins won again last night. Well, they could thank the Mets for that winning streak. <laughs> they, the Mets gave them the confidence that they can do it. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! Well, boy, anyway, boy, the Orioles are. Oh my oh, God! It's embarrassing to watch. You it's, know, it, it it's embarrassing is... for the people that don't have another team's hat on that are in that stadium. <laughs> It's, if anybody supports the Orioles, I have a good doctor. I have his number. I'll give it out if you need it. Just, uh, uh, just amazingly bad baseball. It's amazing bad. that yeah. that's a major league team. I know. It's, it's, it's. I. <laughs> how many ways can you find to lose? Really? Other, um, I, I, if you're I a young know. kid and you get drafted by the Orioles. I have one word for you. Japan. We do have a kid in our area, Willie Yan, who was drafted by the Orioles. And I will be, sorry for the kid. Kid's a great player. I mean, a great player. He uh, he is very very good. He he almost single handedly turned the UConn baseball program around, where all of a sudden they became winners. The kid is really outstanding. Kid, uh, he's no, he's a man. Well, I feel uh, bad for him because not only do the Orioles stink, they're cheap. Well, yeah, but at least he's. I w- I predict he will be brought up this year just to take a look. See, uh, well, if he's any good, maybe the Yankees will get him in a trade for nothing. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Because <laughs> I'm sure any player that the Orioles have that's halfway decent, they'll trade because they don't want to pay him. It's it's just uh terrible. Yeah, and you think about the organization, the Orioles organization. Of the, of the past. Oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. Oh, Earl, we- Earl Weaver. Up, they were the mainstay pitching staff not in baseball, never mind the American League. Earl Weaver is spinning over in his grave. I don't know. Five Jim- 20 game winners. I don't know if Jim Palmer is uh, still alive. But if yeah, he he's is, still alive. He's, five 20 game That's exactly right. Five 20 game winners on the same staff in the same year. Unbelievable. Quayar McNally, Palmer, um, um, Quayar McNally, Palmer, I forget, I forget. Dobson, yeah. and who was the other one? I can't remember who the other one was. But anyways. All that right, was a so, long time ago. So, so what do you want to talk about now? Um, we could talk about basketball for a little while. <laughs> for a few seconds. Very little was, while. Yeah. <laughs> Toronto beat Milwaukee yesterday. So uh, imagine the no care of the NBA when Toronto plays Golden State. That's right. <laughs> Imagine the no care about that. It's a, it, it it definitely has all the makings of a, of, of a shellacking. They're, they're talking about the lack of interest in the Bruins playing St. Louis. I beg to differ, but there will really be a lack of interest in Toronto playing Golden State. Well, hockey is a totally different animal than basketball because uh, it's not the same teams all the time competing for the Stanley Cup. And the teams that do get in, like St. Louis, 
Uh, they have a following not only in St. Louis but throughout the country. And the big, bad Boston Bruins, half the people watch the Bruins to see them win. They're like the Patriots. And the other half will watch them to see them lose. So it, so the hockey, hockey – as far as I'm concerned, the hockey fans are much more responding and, and and will watch their games more than NBA fans will. Now, NBA will have bigger numbers because there's just simply more people. But if you if you were to compare fan base to fan base and the percentage of people that will, will watch and seek out the, the Stanley Cup Finals versus the NBA Finals, uh, I think the NHL will win by that. that oh, I'll be watching it. Yeah. Put it this way. I'll watch 100% more of the hockey final than I will of the basketball final. Yeah. All right. Any horse racing this weekend? I have very little yeah. because I didn't get my papers until I just checked my computer this morning. They weren't there when I went to bed last night. So I only got one race ready for you. Um, it's at Churchill Downs tomorrow afternoon at 530. Um, it's a six furlong race. The winning colors, winning colors was a filly that won the Kentucky Derby back in 1988. Um, why a six furlong race is named after a horse that won the Kentucky Derby, I don't know. So a uh, couple of horses I'm looking at here all on the outside. Uh, one is the 10 horse, Salt Bay, uh, trained by Bernie Flint. Uh, this horse is 0 for 4 at Churchill Downs, but has been running very, very well at the fairground sprinting. Uh, last two times this horse ran six furlongs down there. The horse won both times convincingly at less than 2 to 1. Uh, 6 to 1 morning line, I'm going to use this horse. Uh, another horse I'm going to use here is the eight horse, Ast- a stroll in the park, trained by Larry Jones. Larry Jones is having a decent meet this spring at, at Churchill Downs. Um, has two tepid works going into this race. Hasn't been seen since December. Uh, Larry Jones is 25% off the layoff. Um, working good at Oaklawn Park but prior to a few works at Churchill Downs. This horse likes Churchill Downs. Two of his five of her five lifetime wins came at the track. Uh, five starts at Churchill with two wins, a second and a third. At 5-1, I'm going to use this horse. Uh, but the favorite just looks real strong to me in this race. That's the nine, Awestruck. This horse, another horse, for course, with six starts with two wins and two seconds. Uh, one last time over a sloppy track at Churchill Downs. Uh, this horse is not just a sloppy track horse. This horse runs on all surfaces. George Arnold's having a great meet, winning at 31% with five winners out of 16 starts. Um, everything just points to this horse tomorrow. So the nine horse are struck is my pick in the tenth at Churchill tomorrow, and I'm going to use the eight a stroll in the park and the ten Salt Bay to round out my exactas. Sorry for the lack of races, but I just didn't get the information in time. That's uh, that's what well, it's going to happen. There's nothing you can do about that. Now, when the racing form costs eleven dollars a pop, and you got to depend on people to feed you. Um, you got to wait. <laughs> you got to take it when you can. Because I couldn't, I couldn't even get the race informed until today for tomorrow. So last night, there's no way I can get it unless you pay their exorbitant fees. So, well, that's that. You get exorbitant fees to get everything like that. Yeah, imagine that. You have to pay eleven dollars to form an opinion on how you can lose your money. The race informed used to cost a dollar seventy-five and gave you a lot more and better information than it gives you now. They used to give you all the works round up of every track. They used to give you better articles. Everything was better, and it was 900% cheaper than it is now. But I guess everything else costs more money, so why shouldn't the race inform take you over to broken bottles, too? <laughs> 